Hello good day to everyone and I welcome you to the another episodes on mold flows tips and workflow I know it took a little longer time for me to get on to this episode um busy with the start of the year and the other things but with this episode let's get started so what we are going to cover in next 5 minutes or 6 is how we can use mold flow to do the optimization for the process as well as design when i say design it's i'm referring to the part design part of it many times when we talk about the design optimization it has been always referred as the design of experiments yes of course that's one of the six sigma tool and often it has been used its most powerful tool to understand the the parameters that are impacting the outcome for 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 it so in this episode what i am going to cover is that given a design as you can see on your screen i have opened the design in the fusion 360 which i usually do it and i put it as my best practice uh, to refer the design first in the fusion 360 and then i pushed this design from fusion 360 to the mold flow before we get started let's understand the parameters of this design i'm going to check the wall thickness for this and uh, yep let me check again this guy and this guy so it has a, like a thickness base wall thickness of 1 mm and of course uh, it, it has a multiple you know that base is divided into the multiple segments so in this scenario we are going to consider that i want to change this base wall thickness to understand how it impacts the wall pitch doing so there is an like an multiple ways to do it i could able to change this thickness in the fusion 360 and push in the model and rerun the analysis or i can edit the mesh in the few uh, in the mold flow itself and rerun the analysis but here we are doing going to do a little optimization of changing the wall thickness how do we go about that let's take a look at it i'm going to push this model from here to inside um this is the best thing i like about it is like you open the model in fusion 360 you clear the model for all the geometry corrections and stuff like that and then you open it in the in the mold flow inside so as i try to open into mold flow inside it asks me where do i want to say that i'm going to create a new project say uh, design and uh, uh, process opt and this is a basic design i will say that this is a grill sorry and i created this design and uh, uh, sorry project as it opens in the mold flow it's in the other window uh, let me open it and as it opens i will i'll share it with you yep it has opened and here we go this is how it looks like its default color is black let's me change the color sorry specify is black and this is how i got it how do we go about what's the preparation before we make the software to understand that i want to change the base wall thickness go into the geometry and in geometry you will able to see the modify surfaces and i'm going to select as a normal vector normal i'm going to change the wall thickness of this portion this guy and this one so three faces i selected and the base wall thickness for these three selected uh faces is 1 mm i can search for anything that are connected to is like fillets or chamfer no and i'm not going to put anything but i'm going to say save the cad modification say so that like a base wall okay and i'm going to use in the process optimization I'm not going to run the analysis this is just I'm going to show you the process for it 
once it is done then i am going to start with an ik parametric study now I, you can see that in the parametric study along with the change in the mold surface temperature or mesh surface temperature or injection time i also got the option of the base wall thickness let's go and first change the mold surface temperature so i'm going to change the mold surface temperature to 50 60 semicolon and then 70 i have put like three parameters over here it is necessary that you put it zero after the each of the parameters and then melt temperature i'm going to put it as 220 225.0 semicolon 220 or say 30.0 as you can see that 3 into 3 is 9 and then injection time automatic injection time is 100% and I'm going to put these as 110% uh, dot 0 and then 120% Okay, whatever it comes it going to increase that with that percentage and the base wall base is like 1 mm I'm going to increase that 1 by 1.5 okay semicolon and then by 2 mm so 3 and you can see that it's 81 analysis it is going to perform like 3 into 3 is 9, 9, 3 is a 27, 27 into 3 it becomes an 81. Okay, so this is how uh, it's going to run the analysis for us. It's basically just a multiplication. And once this is done, you'll get the all the results. What you are looking at is temperature, clamp force, you know, uh, temperature at flow front based upon the whatever the sequence of analysis you are selected if i would have selected the warp uh, you get the warp option as well or the cool cool options will get it on this one so and then you know you are ready to run the analysis for it you can see this i'm not going to run the analysis i just want to show you the process that it's a combination of the process as well as doa and you can use multiple you know faces I have selected only the base uh, you can select like I can select the these rip thicknesses if I need to increase see I want to increase these rip thicknesses by 1 mm also I can save these as rips and when I go into the process optimization now I should be able to See the rips also coming out here i can vary these say 1 mm by basically it's a 1 mm then i can make it this as 1.25 and then I can make it uh, one uh, one point five or so. Just ignore these warnings. You can see that now two hundred and forty three iterations it is going to perform, and all of these iterations you will get it into the spreadsheet form. Okay, I hope you will try it out and try to minimize your process parameters so that you concentrate more on to your CAD modifications i hope this clip was helpful and you will try to use these capabilities when you are trying to optimize your design and help you to take a much informed decisions so with that we'll talk to you next time till then take care of yourself and goodbye